hello there welcome to another video how is going on lads in this video we gonna just build a simple vision os app using reality composer and try to place an object in virtual screen let's build this vision os in a very simple and easy way by just writing a few lines of navigation codes uh, this video is brought you by surfcat come on let's jump to build that First of all, to start with the Vision OS application, you need to have a Xcode beta version installed. Xcode beta version installed which supports the Vision OS. Alright, so I have uh, downloaded and installed all these things. I have shown how we can do that in my previous video. If you haven't that so far, you just go to my previous video. I have provided the link in my video description. You just check that and come back and let's start building this okay so if everything is ready so we can just uh, build this application from scratch this is my test application which i tried before taking this video uh, so i'm going to create a new project from here xcode so let's go file new a new project Uh, you can find the template of the project so I'm going to use this as vision OS uh, is a single application click next and I'm going to name it as uh, uh, I'm just using none for this uh, and click next I'm going to save this is in my uh, this in my uh, desktop itself you can save in your machine wherever you like all right let's so just create it it takes a bit time uh, for this to create and all these things I think this beta version of Xcode is quite uh, difficult to work on because it's very slow compared to the other Xcode versions here we go we have just created a new project uh, which is named uh, skull demo version with OS application and what we see inside is uh, we just have a uh, skull this is a body which is having the window group uh, it's uh, going to the content view so what we have in the content view is uh, simply just a model of a scene and uh, also a text with a hello world all right and uh, what if we see in the packages uh, I can find here some uh, package which is for the reality content and this is the package where they use the scene object uh, over there all right so what if I try to run this project uh, uh, I see in the simulator that there as I said uh, there is a 3d model uh, and also a text which is a uh, hello world so what I'm trying to do from here is I'm going to remove this part and we try to do everything from scratch all right first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this package and let's do something in our uh, reality composer so there is two way to uh, go to the reality composer either is from xcode you can find the uh, developer tool from there you can go to reality composer pro or else from here uh, from the scene itself you can find this option like open in reality composer pro so i'm just going to click that and uh, there will be another scene all these things i'm going to add a new guy over there all right take some time all right no problem so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create the click on the file and here you can find the new and I'm going to create a new scene and it's asking for the name let's name it uh, I'm going to name it as a head all right and just save it here we go so this is the place where the user used to stand so whenever you try to place an object you try to place either in front of the so the circle or else if i keep the object in the behind you need to rotate or you need to move back to see that object all right so from apart from that uh, what uh, uh, there is a plus button over here to uh, just uh, show content library which is having some objects uh, which is provided at default by apple itself so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to find an object so here you can find some uh, planets all these things which i'm going to make in the next video so for this video i just need a skull kind of structure so i'm going to use this one 
so what if uh, if it's new means you can find a right icon over here so that you need to download that first of all and then you just click on that object and just drag it uh, inside the scene over here all right it's quite uh, horrible working in the Xcode beta version it's very very slow and I'm also trying to build this in the first time so it's quite uh, time-consuming all right so let me click on this object from here so it's there actually it didn't appear in the screen yet <laughs> that's all right okay here I have this guy though there and uh, what I'm going to do is click on that one and what I can do now here is let me make some positions so there are some positions like uh, X well, all these is axis so in this process position uh, we need to keep it uh, in front of the screen so that otherwise um, you need to go around the virtual screen to find where your object is really so I'm going to give this positions as uh, one and here let be a uh, minus one and here going to be a uh, minus zero point all right you need to double click this to find where the object is actually let's move it all right so we hoping that uh, this subject is in front of the virtual camera all right and now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save this there are other things like uh, we can add component uh, if you want like a collision and also all these things input target so just I'm um, just for time being I'm just going to use this add component uh, input target and also the collision more deeply the object collision and all these things we are going to make in the next video all right so after doing this i'm just uh, command save so that uh, this scene is already being saved and we have named that is head and this is skull object all right so let's come back to the content view and what i'm going to do next is i'm going to remove this guy actually the v stack with this um, 3d model and also the text delete this So let me uh, create a new file uh, before doing that. So uh, I'm going to create a new file, which is of uh, Swift UI kind. Uh, uh, let me find here Swift UI. Yes, this is. And click next. I'm going to name it as uh, Head View. And let me create this. All right, so I have here a view with the head view. I'm going to this uh, um, skull vision OS framework over this part, and I'm going to uh, write an ID over here. So this is mainly for uh, to recognize the screen, and also we need to dismiss after clicking the button. So I'm just going to name it as uh, main, and uh, another thing is it's an immerse space. So immer space and uh, I'm going to give an ID as well for this actually this is uh, mainly for the s head view I'm going to navigate from a screen to another all right and that going to be a head view So I will come this back later and explain you why I'm writing this. All right, and then I'm going to this uh, head view inside this part, and I have I already created a sample uh, which I can refer actually uh, to do this. So here I have this uh, head view. So what it does is actually I'm going to uh, create this environment and also the reality view on the virtual screen and uh, I named the entity as head in my reality composer 
and what it does is uh, mm, I want to dismiss the window as well that's a main window so that I have written here so what I'm going to do is I'm just uh, going to take this dismiss view and I'm coming back to here in the head view and going to paste this so actually these uh, sources are very uh, not that we have uh, for this vision OS I referred some uh, documentation from the Apple all these things to find some sources how we can uh, do this vision OS all these things in uh, even Apple is trying to give some uh, more information every month how we can do all these things all right so I'm just uh, copying this and I'm going to paste this inside this so you may just uh, pause and uh, try to come along with me uh, all right so this is good here we go everything is right and uh, we need to import this real ticket and the re real ticket content as well that's why this they are throwing the error so after doing that I hope this error gonna disappear all right that's done and then come back to this uh, content view and uh, here we have the final steps so what I'm going to do is I'm just taking these two environments uh, it's an open space stuff and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this V stack with a button and also the task all right so I'm going to click here here we go so I have here the weed stack which is having a button and the button which shows like a show skull okay so and the task is it of a weight which is going to open the immerse space so I think we are having a dismiss window over here as well so that the first uh, window which is I'm um, here first of all this is a window group okay so when an app launches this content view gonna show so this is I have named this ID as main so I come back to uh, so this is the content view and it will be showing a uh, box and also inside that you can find a button called uh, show skull all right so when i click that uh, show skull button so this is going to try to uh, open the immerse uh, space and we're just having the skull is id and from there uh, i need to dismiss this window as well the previous window as i said so after that you can see in the open screen and it goes to this uh, head view from here and uh, inside this head view I'm going to uh, show the reality view which is named the entity as head and uh, when I click this tab just uh, I'm a bit confused uh, let me first of all try to run this and see uh, let me comment this and try to run this okay this preview is always getting time I don't know why it always getting too much time and sometimes it fails all these things so let's don't waste time just trying to run this replace okay I think uh, uh, let me actually remove this dismiss window from here because uh, we are going we are already using this in the head view so I'm just removing this part this doesn't make sense right okay so I have here the button and also from here it's going to the head view which is having this uh, all these things and when I click there's a tap gesture to dismiss this uh, main window which I'm seeing it in the content okay let me try to run this and see what happens uh, okay here we go this is the scene okay so I have here the window which is having with a button called name called uh, show skull so these are the things which uh, this part is actually to interact with the scene and if you go this section this is for actually turn tilt the camera to left right all these things and this is for the dragging the position top bottom left right and this is like a 360 degree icon of find here this is to dolly the camera which means you can zoom in kind of stuff all right so i'm just going to so i have selected this part i'm going to click this uh, show skull and just wait for some time because it may take some time uh, to appear this reality object uh, inside our virtual camera sorry virtual uh, scene 
yeah and you may need to wait for some time or else just go around the scene to find where the object is currently let me check okay couldn't find the object yet mm. Mm, I think it's loading yeah this is loading I guess you find here a small progress showing actually there is a problem actually uh, it may take some time to appear the object as I said early so give some time or else just to move around the scene where it is hiding somewhere else or no just checking check a look around so let me trick this okay it's not here Here we go he came now all right perfect so i'm going to zoom this over here here's the object this is a skull which i have placed the object from the reality composer it's showing in our uh, virtual all right so if i want to uh, just go around okay perfect that's it so we have built our first our uh, vision os application it's very easy and simple the only problem is this xcode beta is a bit slow and uh, it hangs it uh, really horrible when we try to uh, do this project because it, the whole system is going to be quite slow running very slow it, the fan get too much noisy you see in the background you can hear in the background right all right so that's all in this video lads uh, thank you for watching and uh, in the upcoming video i'll be coming with more videos with uh, more things like uh, let, let we will add some animations or else uh, we try to do something inside this tap gesture all these things uh, all right so yeah thank you for watching see you lads in the next video bye